Let's move on from that now and take you to many parts of southern Europe because a fierce heat wave is gripping the region. Temperatures are forecast to rise well above 40 degrees in some parts of uh, Europe, in France, Spain, Greece, Croatia and Turkey. In Italy, temperatures could reach nearly 49 degrees. Red alert warnings, meaning there's a threat to life, have been issued uh, for 10 cities, including Florence and the capital Rome. Well, residents have been advised to drink at least two litres of water every day and to avoid coffee and alcohol, which can end up causing dehydration. Our correspondent Sofia Betitza gave us this update from Rome. It's very hot at the moment. It's about 35 degrees Celsius here in Rome right now. And, you know, it's the middle of July. As you can see, there are a lot of tourists who visit Italy at this time of the year. And in the, in the last few days, several tourists have collapsed here in Rome because of a heat stroke. Uh, one tourist, for example, from the UK passed out in front of the Colosseum. Now, this heat wave has been named Cerberus. This is a three-headed monster that features in Dante's Inferno. And it's a very powerful heat wave that could cause temperatures, as you mentioned just now, to reach 48.8 degrees Celsius. And that could break a record, a record for the hottest temperature ever to be recorded in Europe. But as you said, Marianne, this is not just happening in, happening in Italy, it's happening in, across uh, several European countries. France, Germany, uh, Spain, for example, is already recording its second heat wave. Uh, in Greece, we've seen temperatures of 44 degrees Celsius and some of the most famous archaeological sites are going to be closed for the next few days in the hottest here are urging people to take this very seriously because heat waves like this one could be quite dangerous for people's health. Absolutely. And Sophia, tell me this. When heat waves happen in the UK, at least, we have issues with the infrastructure, with things not working because they haven't been built to withstand that level of heat. Is that the case in Italy? Do you have trains not running, roads melting? I would say that Italy as a country that is in southern Europe is a bit more prepared so those sort of problems have not uh, been seen yet uh, but uh, you know that doesn't mean that there aren't dangers that come uh, with the extreme weather uh, I mean extreme weather like this can kill it can cause heat stroke it can cause uh, existing uh, conditions like respiratory diseases to get much worse and so the Italian health ministry has issued some guidelines about how to deal with the heat they're urging people to stay indoors from 12 to 6 to avoid exercise during the day as you said earlier to drink plenty of water to avoid alcohol and coffee and to avoid heavy food so you know try and stay away from your pizza or your carbonara they're also asking people to check on their elderly neighbors who live alone because it's elderly people and young children who are particularly at risk. Well, that's Sofia Betitza, who was in Rome just by the Spanish step.